Hey, hey you. Have you ever wondered what the best NVIDIA driver is for mining cryptocurrency? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. What's going on, guys? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And we're going to talk about what my favorite drivers are for both Windows and Hive operating systems and some of the, at least, you know, catch 22s on the Windows side of things. But before we do that, let's hear a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners. And on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons, depending on the service or product that they're offering. And their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's mining profitability calculator. Just like ASIC miner value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash. And they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder. But just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out and... By supporting them, you're supporting the channel, and I couldn't thank you enough. But let's get back to the video. So as I'm sure you all know, 512.95 uh, NVIDIA driver, ever since that was released, it enabled LHR locks on you know any LHR GPUs. Now, obviously, it doesn't affect the full hash rate cards, which there are out there. Uh, but most of the supply that's available and out in the market now is going to be LHR GPUs. And there was a number of articles that covered what happens, how the crypto community was kind of locked back down, but you could always go back to driver 512.77. And we're going to talk about this driver because even though that was the, the next step backwards, I did find it to be one of the most stable because it's the, the one that was released as close to more recent, right? The, the more recent drivers always seem to be uh, more stable, the more performance, uh, the games are a little bit better than older versions. But before this driver even came out, my favorite drivers on a Windows system were as follows. 472.12 was my favorite driver. The only bad thing about that is as minor devs continue to update their miners and trying to enable LHR unlocks and dual mining coins, 472.12 was not acceptable anymore and you did have to update. Sometimes your miners, if you're running in an admin privileges, you're, you're going to get a notice that says up there, you know, you need to update to 512.xx. So which 512 driver should you get? Well, for a Windows system, I would recommend 512.59 or 512.77. But there's a catch-22 if this is your main system that you like to also game on. But hang on one second. I do want to warn you that 512.15 gave me instability, driver issues, weird weirdness was going on. I'm not sure exactly what happened with this package, but 512.59... 512.77, you can't go wrong if you want to mine on your main Windows system or you have a dedicated mining rig on Windows. However, the Cache 22 is, as you know, the latest driver is probably around 516 or newer, 516.94 or newer. And this is a benefit because if you want to play your latest AAA titles like Spider-Man Remastered, you get this driver and you're good to go. But if you're not using the system and you want to mine on the side, Unfortunately, you're going to have to use DDU, uninstall the driver, and then reinstall an older one, allowing you to get the full hash rate out of your hardware. If it's a dedicated mining rig, as I said, you're not need, you do not need to update to the latest version because you're not really gaming on that mining rig. Um, and if you look at NVIDIA's beta drivers, you would see, obviously, you could see a whole different uh, list of versions, but the bad thing is, is not everything is listed there. Nine times out of 10, though, if you just go to Google and type in NVIDIA driver and then the number you're looking for that somebody recommends, you'll be able to find a download for it and you'll be good to go. Moving on to Hive or Linux-based mining operating systems, my favorite one is 510.60.02. Now, that was released in March 22nd of 2022, so it is a bit dated where the current version on Linux operating systems, I believe, is 515-something or 510-something. So, like, you can see they updated the older versions to a little bit newer on August 2nd. So there's been some updates, some revisions to their driver pack on Linux operating systems. However, these versions like 515.65 are not available on Hive. Matter of fact, let's go check that out. All my mining rigs 
that are on Hive are on 510.60.02. That's your that's my answer for the best NVIDIA driver. Now, if we go into our miner and we try to load up uh, the drivers, first off, you know, once you're in, you use your shell or whatever, you're going to type in NVIDIA hyphen driver hyphen update and then uh, space dash dash list. And then you're going to see a list of your drivers. Now, 510.85.02 is the highest it goes up to where we could see that uh, 515.65.01 is the latest. So Hive doesn't always keep the latest on there, but you don't really need it. If you're looking for stability, 24-7 uptime, decent hash rate, honestly, my favorite one is 510.60.02. Now, 68.02 was pretty good as well, but I just kept it on 510.60.02. It's basically what Hive gives you off-rip. You can update to it. We were running on 470.86 for the longest, but when the LHR unlock started happening, everybody had to update. And this is the version you want to get the full benefits of LHR unlock, so on and so forth. And you're not gaming on these systems anyways. They're mining operating systems, so it's obviously a dedicated mining rig. But that would be my favorite driver to choose for Linux or Hive. And then my favorite for NVIDIA is going to be 512.77 or uh, 512.59. Now, 472.12 is pretty good and the reason i want to bring that back up is most people are running mixed rigs or full rigs right full all 3080s all 3060s whatever me i'm running everything from 9 series right so 980 ti all the way up to 30 series and the drivers that i mentioned that are my favorite for both windows and hive seem to be the best for all of them to still work efficiently effectively get good hash at a decent power draw but I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite driver is. Try to provide some facts or links to sites that might, you know, back up your claim. But what is your favorite driver for NVIDIA, whether it's on Windows or Hot? But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor. On the way out, hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel. Uh, like to dojo.com where you can get this uh, mining shirt and BT Miners who help sponsor this video. You all take care. I'll catch you next one. Thank you.